Greetings to you, Bishop Vetter here. I'm still your bishop, and uh, this evening at the cathedral, what's wonderful, I'm leading the Stations of the Cross. It's one of the things I miss the most about being a pastor is leading the Stations. So I did it a few times last year, and I'm going to do it again. Uh, the Stations of the Cross is such a beautiful devotion, especially during the season of Lent, to remind us that we walk with Jesus in our suffering. Uh, as I've been going around the diocese this last two and a half years, I've, I've noticed there's so much suffering and pain, not only here, but across the world. And now, huh, in the Ukraine, we pray for them in a very special way for peace there. Ugh. Uh, and I think praying the Stations of the Cross uh, with our intention for peace in our world can be so helpful. Uh, but also for peace in our own hearts. I thought to myself, when did I learn about how to offer suffering to Jesus? And it came to me. I know exactly where I learned it. From the Stations of the Cross. That was one of the great ways I learned it. We went every Wednesday. That was our tradition in our little parish of St. Michael's uh, before religious ed class. And the church would be packed. And I just remember just enjoying it so much. But being able to identify, even as a young man, uh, with Jesus, the suffering Jesus. Uh, I think uh, I beg our dear Lord to help us all experience more unity with the suffering Christ, our suffering Lord in our own sufferings, as a way forward, as a way through it, as a way to the path of the resurrection. And so I encourage all of you, wherever you find yourselves, if you can't make it to church, ask your pastor, give me a Stations of the Cross book, or pull it up online. I'm sure there's a ton of them. Uh, take one home uh, and pray it in your, in your chair, uh, in your room. Uh, but if you can make it to the church and do the Stations, walk them yourself if you're not there when you pray them in a parish. If you're not praying them in your parish, bug your priest and see if you can have the Stations of the Cross uh, pray together as a community. It's nice to do it together. But even if you stop in on your own and walk the church doing each of the Stations yourselves and identifying your own suffering with the suffering of Jesus and allowing Him to identify His with yours. So know of my journey with you during this holy season of Lent and know of my prayers and say a prayer for me too. God bless you. Bye now.